Hello, this is third grade lesson two, and the first thing we're doing is use the standard form to write each number. So let's look at number one. So 600 plus 20 and 6. So when we add these all together, we can do this. We can write this vertically to make this a little bit easier. So 6, write like this. So 0 plus 0 plus 6, so we just write 6. 0 plus 2 was 2, and then drag down the 6. So we get 600, oops, sorry, 626 as our answer. Um, let's do number three. So 260 and then 1. The 0 plus 0 equals 0. 0 plus 1 equals 1. 0 plus 6 equals 6. And then drag down the 2 to get 261. Uh, let's do number 4. 900, 10, and then 7. So 7 plus 2 zeros is just 7. 1 plus 0 is just 1. Drag down the 9. So we get 917. So number five is different, so we can see it says three hundreds, five tens, and then nine ones. So if there's three hundreds, so we do hundred, hundred, hundred. So there's one hundred here, two hundred here, and the third hundred, right? So we know that there's three hundreds, so let's add these up. Let me erase this. Let's add these up, so one plus one plus one equals three, and then we just write the rest of the zeros, so three hundred. And now there's five tens, which do one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, there's five tens, so we can show five, add the zero, so 50, and then nine ones is just nine, right? So 300, and then 50, and then the nine ones is just nine, so it's just um, the same thing as before, like these ones now, so we can just uh, solve it, so it's nine plus zero and zero is just nine, five plus zero equals five, and then three plus nothing is just three, so we get our answer is 359. Uh, let's do number eight here. So there's one 100, so 100, that's it. And there's four tens, so one, two, three, four. There's four tens, so one plus one plus one plus one is just four D. So you get 40, and then there's just eight ones, right? So there's be 100 plus 40, and then plus eight. All right, so eight plus zero, zero equals eight. Zero plus four equals four. And then we'll drag down the one, so we get 148 as our answer. Uh, let's skip nine, do 10. So there's 310, right? So 310, so three 100, so one, two, three. Now we just have a singular 10, so it's just this, and there's no um, single digit number, so it's just, uh, let's do this three. So one plus one plus one equals three, and then add the two zeros, and then plus, and we just have singular 10. Zero plus zero plus zero, 0 plus 1 equals 1, drag down the 3 to get 310. Uh, number 11, 20, which is just 20, right? And then number 12, 864. So 800, so we can write 800 like this, and then 64. So this is going to be our equation, so 800 plus 64. 4 plus 0 equals 4, 6 plus 0 equals 6, and then just drag down the 8 to get 864. Next page, we're going to use um, expand the form to write each numbers, right? So expand the form is just uh, separating everything out by their um, places. So this is 9,152. So we can do this by doing 9,000, which is nine with three zeros here. So nine, and then the one, two, three, right? And the next is the one here. So one, and there's two after it. So one, and then zero, zero. Now five here. So five, and then there's one to the right. So we want that. And then there's a two. So we can write this out like that, but we need to put addition signs. So we need to write it out with um, uh, horizontally. So 9,000 plus 100 plus 50 and then plus two. There's an answer for this one, right? Uh, so number two, it's 5,000. So you can write 5,000, right? So there's five and then everything on the right turns into zeros. So this should be zero, zero, zero. All right, so let's look at uh, now this number here. Let's look at this one. All right, there's two on the right, so you can write four, and then two on the right, so we write two zeros. Next is number six, so you can write six down, and there, there's one number on the right, which means one zero, and then this one, there's nothing on the right, so we just write it. So this is our expanded form. Let's do, let's skip down to six here. So 6,931, you can write the six right, right here. And then there's three spots, one, two, three, after, right? So you can write three zeros, one, two, three. And then we put our addition sign, because we're adding these all together. 
right? We do number nine next, and then there's one, two under it, right? There's two to the right, sorry. So just be 900, right? And then we look at number three, there's one here. So there's one, sorry, three, and then one, zero. And then finally, our last number is just singular one. So this is our answer in expanded form. Let's go up here, let's do number 10. So 9,049, so 9,000 here. This one's a little bit tricky, so do the same thing as before. Look at this one. There's three on the right, so we write three zeros plus. And now this one is weird because we have a zero. So when this is zero, we don't just write zero, zero, zero because uh, that just means nothing. So instead, when this is zero, we just skip to this one. We just skip to this number. All right, so we can just cross this out basically and skip to the four. So we'll go to four. There's this one uh, to the right, so we can write 4D. Right? And then we still, let me go on number nine and just add the nine. Right? So even when we add these together, so 9,000 plus 40 plus nine, so zero plus uh, nine says so nine, and then zero plus four equals four. We're still going to drag down the zero, so our answer will still be the same as this, but we're just not writing it out. Okay, so number 12 here, let's do number 12. There's a uh, seven and then three to the right, so seven, zero, 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 plus four, two to the right, or there's two digits on the right, so four, and then these turn to zero, so zero, zero, plus number four here, this one, there's one, there's a one after it, so we turn that to zero, and then we do one. So this is just how we do it, find the form. All right, so the next page is to find the next number in each pattern. So number one equals 10, 20, 30, 40. Now we can see that each time we're just adding 10. Adding 10, adding 10. So now we do the 40, we do 40 plus 10, right? And then we can write this up vertically like this. So 40 plus 10, 0 plus 0, plus 0. 4 plus 1 equals 5, so our next number would be 5. Let's look at number 2. So we go 430, 425, 420, 415. So if you look at the pattern here, you find out that it is being subtracted by 5 every single time we go down, right? It's because it goes from 30 to 25 to 20 to 15. All right, so next what we want to do is 415. Follow the pattern, so we're going to minus 5. So 5 minus 5 equals 0. Drag down the 1, drag down the 4, so we get our answer for 10. Let's do number 5 here. So we see 100, then it goes to 105, then it goes to 110, then it goes to 115. So if we see this one goes up by 5, so we can write plus 5. This one also goes up by 5. This one also goes up by 5. So it goes up by 5. All right, so we you go next, our 115. And then follow our pattern, which is plus 5. 5 plus 5 equals 10. So you write the 0, drag the 1 up. So it's 1 plus 1 equals 2. And then drag down this 1. And we get our answer, 120. Uh, let's skip down to number 9. So 50, 45, 40, 35. So 50 to 45 is minus 5. 45 to 40 is minus 5. 40 to 35 is minus 5. So we can see that as our pattern, right? So we do 35. To find our next number, we do 35 minus 5 following our pattern. So 5 minus 5 equals 0. Drag down this 3s and we just get 30. Number 10, so we go 100, 90, 80, 70. So you can see each pattern. So 100 to 90 is minus 10. 90 to 80 is minus 10. 80 to 70 is minus 10. So we go 70 minus 10. 0 minus 0 equals 0. 7 minus 1 equals 6. So we get our answer 60. Finally, we are on word problems. So Aaron checked out 7 books and 50 movies. Matthew checked out 8 books and 3 movies. And he wants to know who checked out more items. So let's add Aaron's um, books and movies, which is 7 plus 5. 7 plus 5 equals 12, and then we do 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3 equals 11, right? So Aaron uh, had the 7 plus 5, and then Matthew had 8, 3, so 12 is the bigger number, so Aaron, um, Aaron had more books with 12 total items, so we can show Aaron and 12. So number 2, Harold used 43. Uh, Harold used 43 tens and 7 ones to model a number. What other way can he have modeled the same number? So he also could have done, so instead of 43 tens, so 43 tens would literally be 10, 10, 10, and, we'd, and we would have to write 43 of these, right? So instead what we can do is, when there's 
you can just get rid of this 3 here and turn it to 40 tens. So 40 tens uh, would just be 400 because we're just adding the 0. All right, so we cross that out. And now for our 3, this will just be 3 tens now. So 3 tens, would, we can do this. So 10, 10, 10. So it would be 30. Right? 30 and the 7 ones. So instead, we could have just wrote 400. 3 tens. And then 7 ones. Right? Um, let's skip 3 and do number 4. So Krupp does not have any hundreds. How can he model 629 without using any hundreds? So just like this one, 43 tens. Um, so the 4 would mean 400, right? So if you want to make the 6 into a 600, we can also just write like 43 tens. So 43 tens would be 4, 430, right? So we can do the same thing. So instead of uh, 600, we can do 62 tens. And then 62 tens, uh, 62, and this is a 10, which add a 0. So just be 620. And now 620 is just 62 tens. And then we just do, and then um, 9 ones. This is a different way to run it out.